Hi, I've been uh, obsessing over this MIDI stuff again um, to the point that I brought a 3D printer so that I can make custom buttons for the MIDI mixer that I am working on and uh, I've got the program in with RGB LEDs and basically um, Pioneer tactile switches so they're good quality and it's all programmed into Tractor now and I followed the uh, same colours as on Tractor so if we just load a track in so we've got blue for a key point you can see there we have blue for the cue and uh, I'm just going to hold it down because it's not fastened as you saw so nice and responsive no matter where you press on it and uh, works really well. Just load another track. You can't really see because they're so bright but we have white which is grid basically that's the first point set on the grid, blue which is Q and then green which is loop point. So if we just stop the track going second one isn't actually on a proper key point so if we just jump back shift with this button delete the key point set it again so there we go Green, which we drop into a loop until we come out of it. So there we go, that's uh, hot key point set up with RGB LEDs underneath and shift button so that we can use it for delete and remap and whatever else, else we want to do. I'm working on an actual box for this. Uh, once I've finished with all these modules, I'm going to get the top laser cut and then all of these will fit in and it will look a lot neater and then we've also got those um, round level meters that um, I showed working before um, hopefully I'm not too far away from getting that top cut now that I've got these designs sorted out so uh, thanks for watching